know how to put a seatbelt on. Yes, I do. All right. It's that weekly Aldi dumpster dive I try to do right before the garbage truck comes to unload the dumpster. I've had good luck at this time of day with this dumpster in the past, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll find something good. The summer's winding down. The nights are cooler. That's a good sign we're coming into good dumpster diving weather. I really don't want summer to end, although fall is my favorite season, but I'm really not ready for summer to end. But the hot weather of summer, it's not great for dumpster diving. The dumpsters get too stinky. You get more bugs. It's just, but cool weather dumpster diving. Oh yeah. Here we go. This is the Aldi dumpster. Okay. Hmm. 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 Looks like a lot of garbage, doesn't it? Oh my God, that's a waffle maker. Doesn't look like it's in great shape though. Well, here's a bucket right off with some berries and bananas. I'm just gonna grab that whole bucket. I can't really reach it, but I also don't really need a broken waffle iron. Lots of boxes. Not super great pickings today. I'm wearing somewhat more appropriate footwear. Up and over. I don't know. Just not great today. Just gonna take my little bucket of fruit and scoot. Scoot with the fruit. Well, that was a little disappointing. I guess we need to check a couple more dumpsters. I'm thinking of checking the Panera dumpster. I've really never gone there in the morning. I've always gone there late at night, but the weather's cool enough, so we'll see if there's any bread or bagels left in there from last night. All right, this is Panera. Um, pretty low down, looks like paper trash. Other Panera, more paper trash. And then the recycle bin. Okay, we'll go to the pet store next. All right, this is the pet store dumpster. And that big thing over there is a new feature. <sighs> I need the dumpsters to be higher. I don't need everything so low, but I also don't see anything that looks like regular trash. Some big boxes here. So where's Frugal Daddy been, some people have been asking. Well, in the summer, the kids aren't in school. So when one of us is out dumpster diving, the other is home with the kids. When Frugal Daddy goes dumpster diving and I'm home with the kids, he doesn't usually video himself. Once in a while he does, but not that often. So there you go. The kids are gonna be back in school soon, so Daddy and I will be going more often together if we dumpster dive during the day again at night it's just gonna be one of us I prefer to go at night actually I don't really like going in the daytime anymore also over the summer I was driving down to DC a lot so I was on my own doing that so I would dumpster dive then you know you all have missed frugal daddy tremendously but he's back and for those of you who love him the most, do remember, he has his own channel. It's called The Clock Guy. It's all daddy and all clocks. And some furniture repair and furniture refinishing and some DIY fix-it stuff. That kind of thing. So far this morning, the dumpsters have been a little bit disappointing. I mean, for myself, I don't care. I feel bad for you. I know you have high expectations. So I'm going to check a few more dumpsters. We'll swing by Save a lot. Maybe Dollar General. But then I gotta go home. I have things to do. All right, quickity quick, save a lot. Hmm. All right, we got a few things. Let me get the grabber. Look, a box of, ouch, it's hot. Box of plums. Here's our new Unga grabber Daddy just got the other day at Home Depot to replace our broken one. Wait, what's this? Ah, punch -ups. at a 
time. Oops, sorry. Trying to be fancy, I dropped one. Hey, pay attention, mommy. Oh, there's a whole other box of them. Wait, let's get these eggs, too. Oh, God, they're heavy. A whole unopened box. I want these baggies. Here we go. Oh, look at that, a whole nother box. And a whole nother box back here. Look at that. Cauliflower? Oh, my cauliflower, where'd you go? Oh, come on, Box, don't come on. Alright, I grabbed that whole box of produce. Time to go. That was weird because I expected Aldi to be great and I expected Save a Lot to be a dud, but obviously you just never know. I'm going to quickly check at Dollar General. It's not my favorite store. It's not my favorite dumpster, but I'm close enough by. I'll give it a check. And also right near the Dollar General is the food pantry and I'm going to drop off those unopened boxes of the conchas. I'll bring home the individual packets to Frugal Daddy, but we don't need that many boxes of sugary fatty treats with all our sugar addictions we just don't need the extra calories it's too tempting to have them all in the house that's the thing it's much smarter just to not bring the food in the house in the first place it's a lot easier to not bring the food home it's a lot harder to have the food in the house and then try to exercise your willpower that's impossible okay that's the dollar general dumpster i'm not going to even show you inside because it was gross it's like restaurant buffet trash if that makes sense Mm, it's not good for us. No, no, we're leaving. All right, here's one box. Two boxes. Three. Okay, three full unopened boxes of the conscious. You can see people have left some donations here, so I'm just going to put these. Ugh right down by the other donations. Bye bye conscious. I hope somebody loves you. Alrighty, from the Aldi dumpster we found blueberries, strawberries. They look a little worse for the wear but hopefully there's some salvageable ones in there. Some bananas. They don't look too bad. They look like they'll be fine for smoothies popped in the freezer. And another package of blueberries. So I need to wash this fruit and sort through it. From Save-A-Lot, we got the Crunchy Granola Raisin Bran. 
the Honey Puff cereal, which looks like their kind of generic version of Sugar Smacks. Bag looks okay. Date on the box is May 15th, 2020. I didn't see a date on the Raisin Bran box. Hmm. We have a slightly crushed but unopened box of gallon sized plastic storage bags. 17 slider bags. That's pretty cool. We got all these plums and these are pretty firm, which is good. So we have some time to use them. I've had some mushy plums recently that I've cut up and frozen and added to smoothies, but these seem like they'll be fine for eating because they are not overly ripe. Yes. We got a cauliflower, an iceberg lettuce, make that two iceberg lettuces, another package of strawberries, a green pepper, our second cauliflower, I knew there was a second one somewhere. We got a cucumber, there was a bunch of kind of mushy cucumbers, but this one's pretty firm, so I think this one's more likely to be edible. Another green pepper, and some plum tomatoes that I think would be adequate for making sauce or some homemade ketchup. We got the, I think, six or seven packages of conchas that I brought home for Frugal Daddy. He's already dug into one. And last, the eggs. Let's see if any of them, oops, look good. Oh. Look at that. They look very good. This one over here is broken. That one's kind of stuck. These other ones seem fine. Wow. Got the one broken one, we got a stuck egg, the rest seem fine. That's a lot of eggs. It's awesome how they're doing yard work now that I'm trying to film outside, but that's life. It's real life, folks. It's real life here in the suburbs, outside on this beautiful end of summer day. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed already, please click below to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified of all future uploads. Give us a thumbs up, comment below, and share on social media. And hey, please follow us on Instagram at freaking frugal dumpster diving. Yay! Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!